friends today are going to draw a king and queen. Yeah, an Egyptian king and queen. We hope you're going to follow along with us because art is always better with... Friends. Friends, just like you. All right, do you need uh, something to draw with? Some paper and... Something to clue with. You ready to start? Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to draw both an Egyptian king and a queen together. Mm -hmm. Let's first draw their heads. We're going to draw two U shapes and this is so that we can draw them right next to each other. So I'm going to draw one here and one right here. One here. I'm going to draw them the same height. And one here. Yeah. Now let's draw their eyes. I'm going to draw small little circles inside of each U shape. I like repeating the same steps. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw their smiles. I'm going to draw a little smile here and another little smile over here. Now let's color in their eyes too. And I'm going to color in everything except for a little highlight so the eyes look shiny. It's really hard to do highlights yep. and tiny eyes. Really small, yeah. <laughs> this one I'm going to add eyelashes to. Because she's Our the queen. queen. Yep. And we could add eyebrows too. Draw little curves over each eye. I'm going to draw eyebrows on the girl too, the queen. Because girls have eyebrows too. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. <laughs> Can't leave them out. All right, now. Now let's draw the top of their heads, and they both had headdresses, so we're going to draw different headdresses for each one. First, let's draw a curve on both heads. So we'll draw a curve on the top of each one. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the king's headdress first. Let's start by drawing a curve above his head. So we're going to come up like this, and we'll draw a curve over the top of his head. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left, and also down over here on the right. Yeah. And then let's draw two straight lines coming down from the chin. Now we get to draw a really cool S curve on each side. Right here we're going to draw a curve that comes in towards his cheek. And then we're going to come back down to the bottom and then curve into that straight line. Ah. Oh, that's okay. You can make this come down a little longer and then mat and then connect in. Yeah, there you go. Then we can do the same thing on the other side. Curve in towards the cheek, down, and then connect in. Good job. Let's extend the top of his headdress, well, on the side of his head. Let's extend it up higher. And then we'll connect those two lines. And then let's draw, let's draw a jewel in the middle of his headdress. An ancient jewel. Yeah. Good job. All right, let's leave it just like that. Now let's come over here and we'll draw her hair and also her headdress. Let's draw a jewel in the middle of her headdress, a circle. Then let's also come over here. Let's draw a upside down U for the top of her hair. Now on each side of her head, let's extend her headdress past and connect to that U shape, upside down U shape. And then let's draw another one that goes over the top. Okay, now we're gonna finish her hair after we draw her body. Let's do that next. We'll first draw, we're gonna draw her with a really pretty kind of necklace that goes around her, her body. A really thick necklace. A thick necklace, yeah. Then we're going to draw a U shape to connect those two lines, those two diagonal lines. And let's draw another one right below or right below her chin, but at the top. Let's also add another jewel. Let's draw an oval this time in the middle of her necklace. Okay, now let's draw her dress. We're going to draw two diagonal lines that come out further on each side. Then let's connect the bottom of her dress and draw her little shoes sticking out of the bottom or her sandals. Mm -hmm. Two letter U's next to each other. They're there we so go. Cute yeah. and tiny. <laughs> let's also draw a, a little belt around her dress. We'll draw two lines across her dress. And then let's also draw the end of her belt coming down right down the middle. So two lines, 
And then let's connect those two lines with the letter V. What's she missing? Her arms. Yeah, her arms. Let's draw a diagonal line that comes down and then right at the end we'll connect in to her body. And then let's do the same thing over here for her other arm. Let's also give her jewelry. Let's draw two big, uh, maybe a bracelet, two lines that are spaced apart for a big bracelet. A golden bracelet. Yeah, and then let's do the same thing on her right arm. Now let's finish her hair. We'll come up here on the left and we're gonna come down and then we'll connect into her arms. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down and then right at the end, connect into her arms. Let's also add more jewelry to her hair. I'm gonna draw a curve right here that connects out to the outside and do the same thing on the right. Draw, come in down and then connect in. Now let's come over here and finish the king's body. We're gonna draw diagonal lines that come out from his headdress and we're gonna come down to match down here the same length as our queen so that they're the same height. Yeah. All right, and then let's give him a belt. Let's draw two lines going across. Let's draw, it's not really a dress, it's more like a wrap mm -hmm. going around his body. So right here we can connect at the very bottom also. And let's draw a curve that starts over here on the left and curves down to the right. Let's also draw his shoes or sandals, draw two letter U's that are small coming out. Let's also give him that same kind of ne necklace or jewelry. Let's draw a little curve in between his the two pieces of his headdress. And we could also draw that jewel in the middle, a little oval shape that matches. All right, what is he missing? His arms. Yeah, his arms too. <laughs> Let's do the same thing. Let's draw that diagonal line coming down and then right at the end, curve in. And then let's do the same thing on his right right side and then curve in and let's give him bracelets too. Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing our Egyptian king and queen. You did a great job, but what's going to make them look even cooler? We need to color them. Yes. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. that we finished coloring our king and queen. Your drawing turned out perfect. What else could our art friends add to their drawings? A background. A background. What would be in the background? A pyramid. Ooh, lots of pyramids. Mm -hmm. Or even a sphinx. Oh yeah. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, we use markers, but you can use whatever you have, like crayons or oil pastels or even color pencils. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Egyptian king and queen. Yeah, we do. And we hope your drawings look different than ours. Our two drawings look different. And that's okay because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.